welcome back and i hope you guys are doing very well today i'm in the state of oaxaca because most of you asked me in the my previous video what is mezcal as i said mezcal is a drink of mexico and today i have come to this distillery called ramba mezcal here in oaxaca and i have the owner of this place uh, madam rosario yeah. hello Hello, Hi. nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Thank you. So okay. She was kind enough to invite me here and show me around. So I'm going to show you the complete process of how mezcal is made. Before we start that, let me introduce her once again. Uh, she's one strong woman who has started this business, her ancestral business. Uh, as for her, it is mostly run and managed by the men. But she's um, one among the few, right? Yeah. So why have you started this business and not something else? Yeah, so I don't came from a mezcal family. So uh -huh. May Mezcal is like a tradition that a, that family and generation by generation. Okay. So, and it's more common uh, that it's a job for men. Okay. And I start this one because I really love the process to my uh -huh. mezcal. This is ancestral mezcal, that is a natural drink. Uh -huh. And I start this one for love and passion, and I really made this for pleasure. Wonderful, okay. So <coughs> let's see your distillery. Uh, so guys, we are here to show you the um, agave plant. That is the main plant out of which the mezcal is prepared. Yeah. Okay, so this is the plant, right? The yeah. agave? All of them are different kind of agaves, and the agave is the plant that we use for May mezcal. Okay, so is it uh, one same plant or is it different types of plants? Different types of plants that are different in the type of green, uh -huh. different in size, okay. and different in type to years to grow up. Okay. So all of them are different, so uh -huh. this is the where we get the different flavors of mezcales. Mezcal, okay. And how long does it take to grow one single plant, like for example this one. This one is a coyote, that okay. is a type of agave, mm -hmm. and this agave takes between 13 to 15 years to grow up. Oh my goodness, 13 yeah. to 14 years. And how much liter does it So for this plant, uh, if we talk about one ton, mm -hmm. so uh, for on this plant we can get like uh, 13 liters. 13 liters. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and do you cut the plant or I mean, do you hurt the plant? Cut the plant? Yeah, so when we go and cut the plant, so mm -hmm. the way is like, for example, this one is easier. Okay. So this is another kind of agave. Uh -huh. So this is the, the agave. Mm -hmm. So we have to cut all the leaves right here. Okay. So and we, we, we want to use the pole that we call piña that is yes. out. Okay. So down is just the root. Root. Okay. Yeah. So this is the piña that we have to cut the, the leaves. Leaves. Okay. Yeah. So you just cut the leaves? And the, the, the main, what do you call the piña, that is used for... Yeah, um, this is the piña that I want to use for my mezcal. Mezcal, okay. yeah. So the plant uh, doesn't get hurt? No. no? It doesn't, you don't kill the plant, right? No. The roots are still there? Yeah. Okay. So for all of them, we have to cut the, the leaves. Leaves. Yeah, so once the plant is, uh, agave plant is cut, the next process, this is how it looks like, right? Yeah, but in color green. Color green or white? What? Okay, color green or white. So this is the agave main plant. Yeah. Yeah. So then, what do you do? Next process, what happens? So now we bring all the the, the agaves mm -hmm. around here. Around here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the cooking place. Yeah. The oven. Oven. Okay. This is the oven. This is a conic oven. Okay. And when we wanna cook, we have to take all this out. Uh huh. And then we put wood. Wood first? Yeah, okay. troncos, that we call troncos. Okay. And we put fire on. Uh huh. So, and then we start to put all that kind of rocks. Uh, this kind of rocks? Yeah, that are special rocks. Okay. That we get from the mountain or from the river because okay. are volcanic rocks. Volcanic ro rocks, okay. So, and we make at this mountain with all the rocks. Okay. So, and then we have to wait and, until the temperature is really high. Uh huh. And the trunk is almost done. Okay. So when this is ready, we put this uh, bagasso that has to be wet. Mm -hmm. We call bagasso at the fiber of the the piñas that we don't use it anymore. Okay. Uh, this is for protect the piñas with the temperature of the rocks. And then we put all the agaves. Okay. Making a mountain. Uh huh. 
and then we cover with a plastic okay and then we put all the the sun the sand the sand, the sand yeah. on that yeah. how many days does this take place this is a process that takes between five days five days and eight days five days and eight days it gets cooked here right yeah okay so you cover it with sand you cover with rocks you cover with the plastic and the agave gets cooked in the temperature yeah okay and how many such agaves you require depends so you can cook uh, between three tons and ten tons okay. of agaves okay in different kind of agaves because this one is a, a cook agave okay and that is the pestate but you can put here like the pestate tobala tobasiche that are different kind of agaves. kinds of agaves. yes okay are they same these two are same or different yeah, types they are, uh, they the, are same. Same types. the same types the pestate and this is a cooked agave that looks color brown oh, okay this has been cooked yeah okay so but I, when they is not cooked the color is white, white and green white and green yeah okay great so this is different kinds of agaves or yeah when the agaves are already cooked uh -huh. we put right here okay and we separate by uh, kinds of agave okay so this so, one mm -hmm. is a kind of agave that we call tobasiche okay and this one is another kind of agave that we call tepestate okay and this one that already cut okay we cut is tobala so all of them has different flavors mm -hmm. so if you try i want to give you okay this so, so after the cooking is done yeah this is where you bring it right yeah and then you segregate or separate it on basis on the different types yeah mm -hmm. so this one is the the plant the agave that is cooked okay this is already cooked yeah so this okay. is really sweet if you try uh-huh i can just like, eat it right like chew it chew it yeah yeah mm. Mmm, amazing. Yeah. This one is the Sweet. Pestate. This is soft. Very nice. Yeah. Doesn't look like a plant, you know, it looks <laughs> something like a gum. Yeah, <laughs> it's very mm -hmm. good. Mm. So, and you try this one that is another kind of agave. Okay. That we call tobala. Tobala, okay. So, um, if you see, all of them are different. This is a penca of the pestate, it's big. Big one. This is a small one. And this is a small one. Okay. That is Tobala. Okay. If you try, the flavor is really different. Now I'm trying the smaller one. Earlier I tried the big one, okay? Hmm. You are right. The taste is different. Again, soft, but a bit strong, I feel, because I'm tasting for the first time. Probably. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So this all cooked ones, right? Yeah. This all cooked, and you have separated them on the uh, and then pipes. We, yeah, we give some time uh -huh. uh, until we start to cut. Oh, so it takes some time here. Yeah. And then finally you cut and place it like this. So we have to make slices uh -huh. because the, after this is the the crush part. Okay. That we use these uh, masses, we call masses. Masses. Okay. It's a wood. Okay, it's a wood. Okay. Yeah. The, so you crush them here. Yeah. In this pit. Yeah. We call this canoa. This is space. Okay. So this is uh, made by two men. Man. Okay. Two men. Yeah. Two men is required. Yeah. Okay. So and then okay. just put all this the pieces of agave uh -huh. right here. Okay. And then just start like make this. Start crushing them with yeah. this water log. Okay. This is a process that takes between 10 and 12 hours. Then crushing is done. Then we, you get this kind of fiber, right? Yeah, without liquid. Without the liquid. Okay. Just the fiber. Uh huh. So then we have. This is a natural process. Okay. That with the temperature, with the natural temperature, mm -hmm. we have to wait until this fiber is warm. Okay. And okay. then we put water like this one. Uh, you put water? Yeah. And then just wait for uh, how many days? 8, 10 or 15 days. Okay. Depends on the temperature. Depends on the temperature. Yeah. The weather temperature, right? Yeah. Okay. So in all the process is really natural. Uh -huh. And it starts to work because okay. the fermentation. Uh -huh. uh, this one is in the process of the fermentation. Fermentation. Okay. Yeah. So it's fermented for 8 to 10 days. Yeah. Depends on the weather condition. 
and then after that when this is ready uh -huh. uh, we are waiting until it doesn't have sugar okay and it's strong like the vinegar uh -huh. and this is this is ready for go to the distillation part distillation okay. yeah and we get all the fiber and the liquid uh -huh. for the clay pots that okay. is the distillation distillation part. okay okay so, so let's go to the dist this is the distillation process this so is where the distillation takes place yes. right okay so, so we call these hornillas uh -huh. and down this in this square is a clay pot a clay pot is like that one that is right there. Um, it's a clay pot if you see right here. Ah, this one. Yeah, this one. No, ah. this is resoyano. Okay. Down is a clay pot. Okay. That is a clay pot. Yeah. Okay. So we put all that is in the uh, in the tanks. Uh huh. And there are two distillations. Okay. For the first distillation, we put all that is there we put right here okay we cover with this one that is a resoyano like a top okay it's just like a cover yeah okay so inside of this we have a wood spoon a wooden spoon yeah okay, okay. so that is holding with this uh-huh so we cover and then we put the condenser uh-huh let me see what condenser So this is a condenser. What is the use of this and how do you use this? For, what purpose? for uh, this, we call caso, and this, the condenser is, the function of this one is to, that has to be cold the whole time. Okay. So this is building, when we put all the, 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 the bagasso, the fiber here, yeah, okay. it starts to boil. Boil, it starts to boil. Okay. Yeah, the vapor go up uh -huh. and touch the condenser that has to be cold the whole time the whole time using water. Water, okay. All right, and yeah. then? And so all the, the water is just like circling and have this cold. Okay, so it, it keeps this cool? Yeah. Ah, this has to be cool, right? This part has to be cool, and this is where the uh, boiling takes place, right? Yeah. Okay. So the vapor touch the condenser and all the it uh, like drops in the clay spoon uh -huh. and then it's connected with the carrizo okay. and is where we, where we're going to get all the liquid that liquid we call mezcal. Mezcal, oh, okay. You see like this. Ah, this is how the mezcal comes out. Okay. And this is a process that takes maybe 24 hours. It takes 24 hours? Yeah. Okay. okay. So there are two destinations. Okay. So here at Ramba, she has 15 different types of um, mezcal, but today I'm trying only four of them. So let's go. Let's start. So let's go to start with a quiche. Okay. Uh, I want to give you quiche. Quiche is a kind of agave. Okay. Um, this is a wild agave. We call wild agave because it's a plant that we get from the mountains. Okay. So wild, wild yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So this agave takes between four and five years to grow up. Okay. The plant takes to four to five years, right? Yeah. Okay. So All right. this agave is like floral mm -hmm. and like soft. The flavor is soft. Okay. So if you smell. Okay. Oh, I can smell it. It smells like um, alcohol. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> smell of alcohol. Okay, and then it's like mm, this one is more la, like herbal. Okay. Yeah, and then you drink, you make a like a tiny drink. Okay. So I'll take a small sip. And don't open your mouth really fast. Yeah, maybe it's strong for you. So the percent of alcohol is between 48 to 50 or 52% of alcohol. 
Now I know why you said don't open the mouth so quickly. <clears throat> yeah, because the alcohol can hurt. Yeah, it, it's so strong. It burns in the mouth. Yeah. You get the strong, strong, strong uh, flavor. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is, is a... This is 48% of alcohol. 48% of yeah. alcohol. And you said this is a herbal one, right? The yeah. plant grows in the mountain. Okay. Pestate. Pestate. The pestate is another kind of agave. It's a wild agave that tastes between 25 to 35 years to grow up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. this is the oldest one, uh, agave. Oldest one? Yeah. Okay, it takes 25 to 30 years to grow this plant. Yeah, so but the flavor of this one is really, really different. Okay. It's really um, aromatic uh -huh. and yeah, it's an uh, intense flavor. Intense flavor, okay. And how much alcohol does it has? This one has 49. 49%. Okay. So remember the smell. Okay, and smell and close your mouth and just yeah. take a sip and do not open your mouth until you gulp it. This is much stronger than the previous one, right? Yeah. So, but you can see the flavor is different. Yeah, the flavor is different, but I mean, if you compare the how strong it is, I think this is stronger. Yeah. I don't know. I feel it that way. Mm. Yeah, it has a um, a stronger flavor. Stronger flavor. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So, um, this is the difference of the tequila and the mezcal. Okay. What's the, the difference between tequila and mezcal? I was the, coming to that process of the tequila is more industrial okay. and they work just with one kind of agave mm -hmm. and we work with different kind of agaves. Oh, okay. So all of them has the same process mm -hmm. but you have different flavors okay. that and is the just taste. Yeah, and it's just for the kind of agave. Agave, okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay, the third one, right? Yeah. Okay. This one is um, another wild agave. Wild agave, okay. Uh, that is called Tobala. Okay. And uh, how much is the alcohol percentage on this? This one is 50% of alcohol. 50%, okay. And how long does it take this plant to grow? So it is, it takes between 8 to 10 years to grow 8 up. 8 to 10 years, yeah. okay. So, and the flavor of this one is sweeter okay. and you can find more like a smoky flavor. Smoky flavor. Yeah, you're right. This is uh, this is sweeter, and I think I think the one that I tasted there, yeah, it's same, same. It has got a same taste. Okay, all right. The next one. The next one is a uh, mix. Mix of. Yeah. Okay. So we mix two kind of agaves. Mm -hmm. So when we uh, work with a mix, is the whole process together. Okay. Mm, it's not just to mix two mezcales when they are ready. So you have to cut them together and they go to the fermentation together and they have the same destination. Okay. It has a arroqueño and marteño, two different kinds of agaves. Agaves. And yeah. what is the percentage of alcohol in this? This one is 53. 53. <laughs> okay. So for us, isn't the percent of alcohol is not the important point. Okay. So when we fix and and try, mm -hmm. we look in the flavor okay. and that it doesn't be really strong for your mouth. Okay. And when it's ready, we have to take the percent of alcohol. Okay. And how many years does it take this plant to grow? So this one that is Marteño, takes a, the Marteño takes between 15 to 18 years to grow up. Mm -hmm. And the Arroqueño between 18 to 25 years. Okay. So the longer the years of uh, of a life of a plant, is it the stronger the mezcal, or is it no. something nothing to do with nothing that, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. This is strong one. Yeah. Quite strong one. This is not sweet, but it is strong. Yeah. And if you not the difference of the if you smell mm. it smell more really different. This is different, yeah. right? Okay. 
Also, we tasted four of them today, and four um, different mezcal taste different, smells different, right? Okay. Uh, which is your favorite one? I mean, so you personally, which one do you like? Yeah, I really like the family of Karwinskis. We okay. call Karwinski uh, this kind of agaves like Tobasiche or Marteño that okay. we try at the end. Okay. So they have a really dry flavor, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay. Marteño and Tobasich. Okay. And how much uh, how much does it cost one bottle? How much do you sell? So, it for? depends of the kind of agave. So, okay. the price all of them has the same process, mm -hmm. but uh, depends of the kind of agave. Okay. Uh, they give a different percent of mezcal. Mezcal. So, I have this size uh, that is 750. 750 pesos. Yeah. Okay. No, 750 uh, is Milliliter. Milli oh, milliliter. Yeah. Okay. And how much does it cost? So, um, I have between 600, uh, 600 mm -hmm. until to 1500. 1500. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so, guys, if you are in Oaxaca or in Mexico, you should definitely try the local drink that is mezcal. And if you are especially in Oaxaca, do visit a Ramba mezcal. I will send all the details in the description below. And thank you so much for your time. And thank she was you. very kind enough to explain the entire process. Do visit her distillery here. And uh, definitely this is one thing that you must try or taste if you are in Mexico. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take a good care of yourself. Yeah.